Welcome back. You're still watching Morning Live. Now, Exhibit S, an ode to Sarki Bartman by a local black woman, will soon be launched at the Mask Theatre in Cape Town. According to the creators, this poetic performance was inspired by the misrepresentation of Sarki Bartman, who was born 200 years ago. Sarki Bartman, was, who was brought as a showpiece by an English man, was born in the Eastern Cape and only lived to, at the till the age of 24. She only returned to her home soil after she had passed. All right, joining us from our C Point Studios is Tola uh, Antamu, who is the actress who will perform uh, this uh, poem. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning, Lebu. Thank you so much. How's Cape me. Town? How's the weather in Cape Town? Ah, oh, it's so warm. It's warm and sticky. Really? <laughs> All right. Talk to us about uh, Exhibit S. What is it about? Exhibit S, Ode to Psyche Batman by a Black South African Woman, is, um, as the title suggests, um, an exhibition um, of my interpretation of the life of Psyche Batman. And through my performance art piece, I... I exhibit what I thought her life was like um, and the kind of the savage treatment that I understand she went through uh, throughout her life. Um, but then my piece ends um, kind of looking at how women of colour in the world and especially in South Africa are still being objectified and sexualized and um, hypersexualized and treated like flesh. You know, I... It's not often that I can leave my front door wearing, I suppose, even what I'm wearing now and, and not get calls from men or shouts or, you know, just general catcalling. And I created this piece because I think that in 2016, um, you know, we're being told that women have freedom um, and we are treated as equal, but... I still don't feel that way. I mm. still feel very uncomfortable sometimes in my skin. And I wanted to kind of mirror the, the, the idea that, that we've been, well, the ideas of Saki Batman, the, the story of Saki Batman. I wanted to mirror that with what is currently still happening today to, to many women and, and especially women of color. Um, and I think that it's very important that we, that we know it's still happening. Um, talk to us about the misinterpretations that inspired this performance. Um, so, I think that in the media, um, women of colour and women are always portrayed as sexual objects. Uh, we, are, we are often clad in, in, in very small outfits, um, people want to see your, your cheekbones, your lips, your big eyes, your big boobs, your bum. Um, and, and that should change. That needs to change. It's not fair. It's not healthy. Because then you get young girls obsessed, absolutely obsessed with their bodies and obsessed with trying to change from being, you know, tall and thin to being short and Big, and then you have big girls being absolutely obsessed with trying to get skinny, and all for for what? Um, and you know this it happened to Saki Batman in you know she was born in 1789 and died um, as you said 24, 25 years later, and it's a horrific story. I mean mm. she was treated terribly. She was made to to feel like a freak, um, and I just think that. We need to make sure that that's not still happening. Mm. Um, yeah. What does this performance mean personally to you as an artist and as a creative? Um, what does it mean to me personally? I, I love that I can speak to women of colour and say, this is my body and I love it. I love my dark skin. I love the shape of my bum and the shape of my boobs. And you should love yours too. I love that I have the freedom to do that. Um, and it's been such an, a, a rewarding process because I can see the people's faces in my audience and I see them thinking, you know, wow, I, I have the ability to love my body. I should love my body. And the reason I don't is because so often people are telling me that my body is wrong or bad or fat or skinny or too dark or too white. Um, so 
it's incredible to be able to see the reactions on people's faces um, at the end of my performance. How do yeah. we begin to change that? And whose fault is that that society has certain expectations of women? Oh, hey. <laughs> That's a brilliant question. <laughs> whose fault? Um, I think... The, the, the fact that, you know, we are living in a, a patriarchal world, uh, I think it's the, the, the fault that um, the whole universe is kind of revolving around man, you know, um, the male sex rather than the female sex and, and not human beings. Um, I think the fault lies there. And, um, yeah, the fact that women are always something that can be acquired or bought or taken. Um, I mean, throughout the whole of history, that's how it's been. And it's only very recently that, that femi feminists um, and feminism was a thing. And, you know, in developing countries and, and especially in Africa, women are still finding their power. Mm -hmm. Um, um, so I think the problem lies there, yeah. that women don't know that they can love themselves and that they can say no and that they can say, you make me feel uncomfortable. Yeah. All right. Tola, yeah. thank you so much for talking to us. Good luck with the show. Exhibit S. Thank and over you. to Sarki Batman by a local black woman is something to look forward to.